I have my list of games here. This is a great website. Not affiliate, not affiliated with them whatsoever. No, there is no affiliation with them. But you can make a profile here. If you want to ever track games, just make a profile. You can track games that are coming out. Uh, it's called releases.com. Uh, you've seen me use it many times. You can also track movies, TV shows, all that stuff as well. Uh, here's my list of games that are coming out. We're screwed for October, by the way. Screwed! Look at that. Tomorrow or two days from now, Until Dawn Remake is coming out. And then NHL being Canadian is coming out as well. Um, early access is Silent Hill 2. That's out on the 6th. The game comes out on the 8th. Goddamn Dragon Ball. They need to correct this because you get three days early. Not even looking at Dragon Age either. I am looking at Dragon Age. Hey, where's my Dragon Age? I, I saved Dragon Age. I'm, I'll correct that. Dragon Age should be here. You also cover events as well. I am, I am going to check out Dragon Age. I don't know why I have Ninja Turtles here, to be honest. Ninja Turtles, you're out. <laughs> you're out, Ninja Turtles. Get out of here. Um... Dragon Ball, this should be corrected because you get it three days early if you get a certain edition. Um, so you, the game's actually playable. It's not even the 11th. The game, this date's actually wrong, is it? No, it's all right. So you get it on the 8th. Dragon Ball is on the 11th. And then you, we, we got to play our story games. Like Chi Chi and Lemons, they need, they need their story games. Especially Max is coming back. Life is Strange. We gotta play that. Never gotta cry. We need we need our crying game for October. You know, October is first full of scariness and filled and filled with tears. So nothing better than the Never by the makers of of Gris, right? You know, uh, a quiet a quiet place. This is kind of reminding me of that game that came out with the developer that was screwing people over. I haven't heard much about this game. Remember that game that came out? Uh, okay, hold on. 2024. I can I, I see the I can see the character. Oh wait, 2023. The game was complete garbage. Bad, scary game. Stray, stray souls, stray souls. You remember that one? That one was bad. God damn. <laughs> that one was so bad. Even the demo was terrible. Uh, Silent Hill 2, Neva, Dragon Age are all I care about uh, game-wise. Alloway, oh, and Alloway DLC. And the thing is, I, okay, I gotta, I gotta update this list. I gotta update this. But let me just double, let me just look at this. But for some reason, A Quiet Place Road Ahead is kind of reminding me a little bit of Stray Souls a little bit. Hello and welcome. I'm Luca Esposito, Senior Narrative Designer at Stormine Games. And I'm here to tell you more about Alex Taylor, the protagonist of A Quiet Place, The Road Ahead. Our story expands on the personal circumstances and family ties of Alex Taylor, a young college student, in the same the way hell that, that The Quiet Place movies do, through a series of flashbacks that are interspersed throughout the present day post apocalypse. Ne Alex uh, is Neva. Neva. I think it's Neva how you say it, right? Neva? 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 In engineering, and is a student at the local music college. I can't believe you have this. And has shown the ability to combine her passion and education together. Why was it that everybody calls her when she was little? <laughs> Why is that barbecue sound like it's boiling? You hear that sound effect for the barbecue? Barbecues don't boil. And education barbecues together. grill. Why was it that everybody calls her when she was little? A tuneful technician. She also has a boyfriend named Martin. Like all relationships, I, They've had their ups and downs. Hey, Martin. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry. But ultimately, they're deep in love. I love you so much. 
Okay. Alex's mother died prior to the event of day one. It looks better then, than Stray Souls. A strong connection with her father, Kenneth. When I look into your eyes, <laughs> Big Joel. She's still this is Big Joel right here. As well as with Martin's parents, Robert and Laura. They're all your moms? Yep. I know she likes to hunt, but this is a lot. And that brings us to one of the difficult circumstances. Does anyone I honestly give a single fuck about a quiet place universe? I've never seen any of the movies, if I'm honest with you. Stances that Alex must deal with in the new, silent, post apocalyptic world her asthma. She has dealt with it throughout her life, but in a world where deadly creatures pounce upon hearing a sound, having a flare up. Oh, great! Great! This is the worst person you want to be with. During in a quiet place world, a person who has to cough. <laughs> the end for her. <laughs> this isn't the only circumstance that endangers Alex in the present day. As early on in our story, and she's she pregnant. Also discovers that she is pregnant with Martin's what? child. Really? They're getting on us! God damn it, Martin! Whether through flashbacks, notes, or quiet interactions, our Back it tell up. a robust and unique story that dives into the thoughts emotions and relationships you're everything wrong in this world. yeah you're the problem of this new world you're pregnant and you're coughing get out of my new world <laughs> as they face the same challenges of those in the quiet place movie franchise a world where you must be silent to survive you will see what happened on day one that set the trajectory of Alex Taylor's survival story, and you will experience what is going on in the current okay, state of the you know what? over 100 days in, when you get your hands on a quiet place to road ahead later this year. I must say, this is the first time I've seen gameplay of this. Just from the cover alone, it looked like it, it was giving me stray soul vibes, sadly. But after seeing this, I, I'm willing to give this a shot. I'm willing to give us a shot, you know? So, October 17th, that comes out. There we go. Um, You know how many of these things I've killed in Resident Evil? <laughs> hey, just get a shotgun. Where's Jill Valentine, you know? Uh, Call of Duty Black Ops, you know, it's coming on Game Pass. Might as well give it a try, you know? But I'm a, I'm a ex-defiant boy. Uh, nev Neva, by the way. Uh, Nessa, if you want a true scary game. I'm so ready for this game. So during TwitchCon, they had they had a build for this game. During TwitchCon, I re I refused to even look at it and I refused to even play it. They're like, "Oh, would you like to try this?" I'm like, "Nope." I want zero knowledge of this. I already played the, their first game. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. You, you don't have to. You don't even have to tell me. You don't have to sell me on this game. I'm ready for this game. This game is going to slap so hard. This game is gonna slap some tears into you. That's right. If you didn't cry then, you're gonna cry now. That's for sure. Um, all right, let me fix my tracking. Was it was it I don't have here Dragon Age? I am gonna check out Dragon. I I did confirm Dragon Age, uh, already. Especially that my my former wife Morgan is in it. Sad. Neva is only on PC and Xbox, right? No, it's on it's on everything. It's on everything. PC, Xbox, Switch. And PlayStation. In fact, I played Gris on Switch, I remember. And not only that, goddamn Devolver Digital. They're like I think they're the publishers for it. For it. Like they're Devolver doesn't miss. 
Devolver doesn't miss at all, man. They, they, I don't know how they find games, but they don't miss. What else am I missing from uh, October? I think I'm missing something. There was another, there was another game I, I thought I was tracking, but I wasn't. Here's the whole list. Anyone who wants to play Max Mustard, there's, there's a game for you. Oh, Alan, thank you. Alan Wake DLC. I think. Yeah, there's no. The thing is, there's no release date for it. But I feel like. I think. Was that the reason? Why? Oh, whatever. Um, I just tracked it anyway. Um, it's supposed to come out this month. But I think because of. Uh, There's no actual date yet, which is I find very odd. It, it it's coming. They say October, but when? When October? Like October when? <laughs> like this? Just tell us. And a part of me wants to play. Like listen here. I know this sounds very crazy. I know I have a lot of games to play. I know we start a lot of games. I kind of want to play through Control again. <laughs> I kind of want to play Control again. Is that bad? How long is Control? Just, just hear me out. Hear me out. Give me a chance. Uh, oh. How long is Control? You're doing Alloy Wake 2? New Game Plus before DLC? I still have to do the first DLC of Alloy Wake. Control's an 11 and a half hour game. Really? Is that all it is? Whoa, and you piss on me about not finishing games? You have... You shouldn't talk, Lemons. How far are you in Zelda? Huh? You can bomb through Control like two streams, right? I think I can do that. I just hope he doesn't like, like now if Alan wakes like, oh, the DLC comes out tomorrow. Good luck. Everyone. I'll be like, what the hell? You know? Lemons has one game and she, has, she hasn't finished it in two years. I have, I have a list of games that I finished. You want to see my list? I, I actually made a list. Where's your, where's your list? <laughs> where's your list, Lemons? Where, where's yours? I don't even see it. Look at that. I, I, you want me to see how many games I finished this year? 1, 2, 3, 4, 16, 17, 18, 19 games I finish. 19. And I'm, I'm going to even, I can even finish another Zelda game. But it's Zelda. It's supposed to take years. Not this one. This one is like, okay, you can finish this Zelda game in three days. Not only that, Lemons, Lemons pull, pull the me being like, oh, I'll go back. I'll go back to this Zelda game later. And then she started another Zelda game. And then, then she went back to her campus game, you know? <laughs> okay, last break, then off, uh, the off at 5 p.m. lemon time. Exactly. Aren't they all? No, they're not. Two Point was, was calling my name. They're fine. They're fine, Lemons. Lemons, by the way, October 15th. Right here. October 15th. Max Caulfield. She's the back. You could rewind time is back. Let's thrash. And watch. Lemons is probably gonna blame me, being like, this is why I can't finish Zelda, Marcel, because I'm watching you playing Life is Strange. But when one of her new friends, Safi Llewellyn Fayad, is murdered in what? the grounds. Wait, what is that name? 
What's this name? Girl who could rewind time is back. Let's thrash, Shakabra. But when one of her new friends, Safi Llewellyn Fayad, is murdered. Safi Llewellyn Fayad? In the grounds of Caledon God University, damn. Max finds that her chaotic power has changed. Now, Max must shift back and forth to reveal the truth of her friend's murder in an attempt to save Safi before it's. By the way, Life is Strange, their graphics have dramatically improved. This is crazy. It's too late. Once Max's new power manifests, she can send a pulse out from her fingertips How dare you, at lemons. any time. While Pulse is active, she can peer through to the other world, seeing the differences between the timelines clearly. People and objects in the other timeline appear as dimensional echoes, allowing Max to avoid watchful eyes when shifting. Good thing I can keep an eye on Alderman from here. Wouldn't want to show up right in front of him. It's pretty sick. What the hell? While Pulse shimmers around her, she can also see places where the veil between the two timelines is at its thinnest. These shift points are where she can push through to the opposite timeline to help her investigation in a multitude of ways. Oh. Do you need me to hold something or? Actually, yeah. I need an Allen wrench. Got one around here? I almost no, died I from a from Carlos, telescope. I think she took it back. If you can go grab that from her, I'll owe you. This could be to solve a puzzle, convince a character to reveal a secret, or retrieve an object lost in one timeline by borrowing it from another. Better give this wrench to Moses. Shift points work in both directions, so you can shift back and forth from the same spot. So I found this guy named Alan, but he didn't know anything about a wrench. No, Max, not literally Alan. It's... Oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, classic. Joke aside. I'll never apologize for my dad jokes. If you're worried about losing track of which timeline you're in, well, Max herself may get confused too. Have you talked to Reggie since yesterday? Who? Reggie? <laughs> <laughs> Wrong Loretta, Max. Options, you can toggle a UI indicator every time you shift, confirming the reality you've just arrived in. Living and dead That's timeline. Oh man, views, we're gonna have so many. Christmas we're gonna before. screw this up. I'm ready for this. Most importantly to Max's investigation, everyone you meet has an increasingly divergent duplicate in the other timeline. Depending on which timeline you're in, they'll react to Max and her probing questions very differently. A grief-sodden conversation in one timeline may unlock an unexpected heart-to-heart -heart in the other. Grief is hard. The trick is not to let it change your character. Yeah, their art, like their graphic and art design is dramatically and Max improved. Max is the only one with a viewpoint unique enough to unravel those secrets and the determination to reach the truth at all costs. So in case you didn't Everybody know, Max is the first character her, like, you played in Life is Strange. She had a heart attack or a car accident. But she was murdered. Someone murdered her. I don't know how we're expected to just be okay with that. Max has never been so powerful or in so much danger. The fates of her friends and of two timelines are at Max's fingertips. Bring back Chloe. Actually, you know, after playing the first game, I was like, all right, Chloe, it's time for you to go, man. I'm <laughs> Even after a while, I was getting tired of Chloe. I was like, Chloe, I try to save you so many times, but you just keep dying in so many different scenarios. So you know what? I'm tired. I'm tired fighting. I'm, try I'm tired fighting against fate. It's time for you to grow, girl. Then that was it. And then I and then I got the good ending of the game. Uh anything else that's coming out that piques your interest, chat? Anything else? Lee Mall. For October. Anyone's playing the fantasy persona game? Metaphor. Apparently this takes 80 hours to beat. Do you think we have time for this game? 
game takes i think it, i think it actually takes 80 hours Oh, that's what I want to check. How long is the first? I never played. I never played. Uh, Alan Wake DLC, the second one. Rivals? Rivals 2. There's only, what Rivals 2? You mean Marvel Rivals? There's a second one? Oh, Rivals doesn't come until like December. Lego Harry Potter. Very you know me with Harry with Harry Potter. Rivals of of Ether two. It'd be an amazing fighting game. Is not the like. Not like the Smash Brothers style of the game, or like not the Smash Brothers. What's that Ubisoft one they have? Is that the same game? Lego Harry Potter Collection. There you go, right here. It got a seventy. Ah crap! I didn't do that. Do this. Anything else that comes out? I used to love the Lego move, uh, the Lego movie games as a kid. As a kid, what Lego movies as, as a kid? I don't think you were you weren't a kid when Lego movies came out. I'm old now. I don't think you were. I don't think you were a kid when Lego movies were were a thing. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I don't think you were a kid when Lego movies was a thing. First Lego movie. Now you have me wondering. Lego movie was 2014. A kid when a Lego movie, a kid when a Lego movie came out. She wasn't a kid. I mean, he Harry Potter, the game Le Lego after the movie. I confuse myself. Not Lego movie. What? There's, what? There's no. There's no Harry Potter Lego movie. A kid at heart. You were younger then. That makes more sense. You're trying to say that you were a Kevin the Lego movie came out. I'm like, that's 2014. <laughs> I don't think that's that you definitely weren't a kid then. Lego Harry Potter game? Is this like a remake? I don't remember. I don't know. Steps got it. Lego Harry Potter game. There's a good chunk of them, I think. Year one, year one to four. That was 2010. How old, how old were you at 2010, Nessa? Right now, you were you weren't a kid. Nice try. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, first yeah first book with the last three or two games. How were how old were you in 2010? That's not a kid at all. What are you talking about? <laughs> 18. What the hell? This is a scary game. Smurfs. That's a scary game right there. Uh, Yeah. October looks nuts. And then here's the remaster of Zero Dawn. Uh, I might as well just... I might as well just save that there because I'll just pay my 10 bucks. 2010, I was 16. Apparently, I'm the child. Oh, see, I told you. I like 
That's what I said. Like, when she played Lego, like, Lego Harry Potter when she was a kid, I was like, that's not accurate at all. Chubbs is definitely definitely the child. You guys are babies. 